Hey everybody, we're Wendy and Chris from Meeple Overboard. Today we're playing this push your luck game called Aptly Push. It is designed by Prospero Hall and published by Ravensburger. You might have seen this game, it's just a very 70s retro looking deck of cards and a die. So I'm going to explain to you exactly how this game works. On, uh, let's say that I start, on my turn I'm going to start flipping over cards and I can create up to three piles in which to place these cards and then we will take turns grabbing them. A card cannot have a pile cannot have cards of the same number or the same color. So I might make this as a third pile and flip over this one. This is a reverse order card only used in a higher player count game. So we can actually just pull that out. Now I might take this card over here and say, hey, perfect, right? That looks good right here. I can keep pushing my luck as far as I want to. This is a card that if someone takes the pile with this in it, they have to roll the die and they will lose all of their cards of that color, black being the exception. So if I might continue to do this, well, I want to put this right here, but I can't because they have to, uh, they cannot match color or number. And in fact, I can't even put this card in either of the other stacks because this matches color and number. This matches number. So at this point, I would bust. If I bust, I discard this card. I don't get to grab any of the stacks and I would roll a die. And if I rolled a color that I had, I would have to lose them. And then my opponents begin to start taking one stack. Um, and now in just a two player game, only that one stack will be grabbed. But if this were a three, four player game, multiple people would start grabbing stacks. So busting hurts, pushing your luck, having to roll this die is not that great, especially when you have lots of cards in front of you. But let's say that Wendy had, um, maybe she has a lot of cards in front of her. She can forego the pushing your luck uh, drawing cards turn in order to just flip over all cards of one color and lock them in so the danger die can no longer affect them. That's everything you need to know about push. So we're going to shuffle these up and then we're actually just going to play right through it. Uh, of course, now the numbers on the cards are the points that will be awarded at the end of the game. Therefore, most points is the winner. Let's go ahead and shuffle those up and let's start. Um, Wendy, as you so beautifully right. have got them all ready. Green three. We're going to go ahead and put a two with that. Yellow three. And at any point, she can choose to stop. Mm. Oh, that's actually looking kind of tough. It is, it is. That'll have to be a third stack. All right. So at this point, if I get another yellow, I will not to do very well. Yep, you will just straight up bust. That's now the only place it can go. Three or a yellow, I will bust. Yeah. Ugh. Oh man. They're big points, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one. Okay. Which leaves plenty for Chris to take. Yeah, yeah, so what's nice is I just get to grab these. I'm set, these will get discarded as no one is around to grab them. Each person grabs at most one stack. And now it's my turn to start flipping cards over. Once again, I've just removed these because they're not relevant in a two-player game, though they will change the direction in which people can start grabbing stacks if you're playing with more players. Well, that's kind of nice. I want to push my luck a little bit more. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. Keep going. Um, I can do this. I could choose to keep going and maybe get some more points, but I think that I'll just go ahead and stop, grab these, and Wendy can get those other ones. So you can see this game is pretty quick. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Where are you going to put it? Oh, are you going to put it there? Why not? Okay. <laughs> oh. So both of us are going to have to roll we'll just keep danger going. dice. Just keep going. You're going to put it there, not on that two Something's step? Something's going to happen. Ooh, let's see what you do. Oh man. I look like I'm terrible at this game. Uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> All right. Well. Well, I mean, if you put it there, you can grab that one and get more points out of it. That's right? true. That's true. All right. So easy decisions, but meaningful nonetheless. So I have to roll the danger die. That's right. I'll be grabbing this stack, and I'll have to roll the danger die as well. And I lost my greens. Look how quickly they disappear. Okay, I will roll and hopefully you don't lose green. Ah, of course I will lose green, so that's fine. So that goes away. So now it's back to my turn. If I had those greens, I might consider having locked them in, but now that I don't have that much, 
Um, I'll just go back to pushing my luck here. I'm going to try and stick one with that as much as possible, whereas I want to have really good cards in my own stack. So that's good. I could choose to stop here, and that might hurt her, but I'm going to choose to flip at least one more. Ah, oh, man. Okay, now I'm kind of stuck where I need to try and flip some more to either bolster my points or get another one of these, those cards. Ugh. 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 That's like the type of turn Wendy had last time. Um... Oh, okay, well, I'm getting real dangerously close here, so I think that I'm going to stop... <laughs> this, this is too bad. I'm going to stop and grab these ones, because at least they're the same color, so I'm less likely to lose them from the die. I'll grab those, and no die gets rolled. All right, well, that was too bad of a turn. But that's All right, it. there's a two. What a six with it. See what happens. Danger when you could stop right there and force me to roll that die. And I think I will. Okay, so I'll grab either one of these, and that's fine. I'll go ahead and roll. Um, anything hurts, except for... So, if you don't roll the color, or if you roll the black, you don't have to lose those cards. So, great. Good for me. Hey, looks like one's going to have to roll the die. Five. I'm glad I didn't keep drawing. Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it is possible to bust even with the dice cards. So... You man, oh, I really, I really shouldn't do one more. I really shouldn't do one more. You shouldn't have done one more. I really shouldn't do one more. Huh. Oh, okay, good. This works out. So I'm gonna take this one. When he's stuck over that stacko. All right. Roll them up. All right. Give me a green or a black. That's what I want. Green or black. Red. Black. Oh. Sweet. So I'm going to actually take my turn to bank these because I have a lot of them now. Man. Okay. Um, I don't have that that much of anything worth banking, so Wendy foregoes her entire turn just to lock those ones in. Was it worth it? Totally. Well, we'll see. Um, you know what? I want to try and make her lose some cards, so I'll go ahead and grab these. I must grab this. It is not optional. Yep. That so one go ahead. measly point. All right. Red, green, or black? Black. Unbelievable. Whoa. Who is amazing at this game? Okay, I'm gonna try and load up one bad stack for me. That's the plan. Well. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay, reverse card is pointless. Okay, I'll just go ahead and grab this one point for safety. This will go away, um, and. See, now I've got quite a bit of pointage in yellow, or purple, or red, or green, even. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock in my yellow. Yeah. Probably wise. Yep. Not the most exciting or fun move, but it could save my skin later, depending on... Oh, I'm sorry. I want this on there. Okay. Yeah, that's Obviously. fair. Obviously. Keep going or stop? Ugh, I want to keep going. One more. One more. There you go. Thanks for the green card. Save you a green card. Okay. So I take You're this one. You're welcome in America. I have to roll the danger die once because I grabbed that one. And <laughs> remember hey. how I just locked in all my yellow? So Chris is a genius. What can I say? I do just love in general the mechanisms of pushing your luck. Oh. Uh, it is interesting with this game how depending on how thick this, vic or this discard pile is at the end of the game <laughs> really determines the range of scoring at the end of the game. Ooh, five I thought I did so badly four. one game, but Chris did just as badly, and I ended up winning. Yeah, excellent. I really like okay. that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You need to roll Yonder Danger Die. All right. Yellow would be fantastic. Roll it in camera. Red. I'm sorry. That was a red. Oh, unbelievable. All right. So I am going to go ahead and flip over yellow, because I agree that would have been terrible. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and flip over purple. That's my whole turn. And I will go... Wow. Let's just do that. Okay, so I take this. I got to roll Mr. McDanger die. Uh, purple. All my purple are gone. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, my turn to start flipping again. So there's definitely a different dynamic between when you're playing with two players or when you're playing with, you know, four, five, or six players. Oh, come on, die card. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is... A red makes me bust, which is very unfortunate for me, but I want to try net more than two points. 
<laughs> a two or a red. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. I, and a bust. I bust. Okay. So So I just pick one. Wendy just picks one. I have to roll the die. That's super unfortunate for me. I lose all my yellows, which is already banks, so that's not too unfortunate. And so that was my turn. Wendy just netted points. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip over my blue. Hmm. So the one good thing about Wendy taking all these turns to, to lock in points is it means that I get more opportunities to flip, which hopefully means I'm actually getting more points. Because uh, then you're getting the higher nice. cards is the assumption. That would be the hope, just Once like in this situation. Yeah, so, that's fair. boom, I'll go ahead and take those. You Let's get hope that roll. I flipped the correct color. Come on, purple, purple, Blue. purple. Oh. Yeah. How dare you call that? Ooh, that feels nice. Yeah, all right. A little bit of validation. Okay, four. Whoa. <laughs> Do you keep going? Yes. <laughs> oh, do you think there's another four? Ooh, oh. You got tough choices. Darn it. It's hard that you just don't have information oh, to work on. Okay. Oh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Well, that feels nice. These all get discarded. And now it's back to my turn. Uh, uh, I, I have a lot of points in green. I think it would be. Uh, unwise of me to forego that. So I'm going to lock in 18 points. And so it's back to Wendy. All right. All right. I'm Interesting. Not, not liking where this is going. Oh, yeah. That, that would make sense. Hmm. Ah, this is so frustrating. Okay. Well, we'll take that. Okay, I'll go ahead and we'll take see what happens. four points. This one gets discarded. My turn to keep on flipping. It's a good thing you stopped. That was another blue card right there. That would have done you in. Um, oh, wow. It oh, is an interesting thing blues. with this game because we organize them by color. At the end of the game, we tend to count them by number. Look, I give them a good riffle shuffle. I know some people are not fans of the riffle shuffle. This is a $12 game. Like, <laughs> it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, okay, I'm going to keep flipping. Oh, all the hoos coming up. Whoop. Oh, well, that feels nice. So my concern, right? What Do I push my luck? Do I keep going? Because if I draw another two, I have to create another stack, meaning that there's another stack that Wendy won't have to grab from. Or do I just take five points, Wendy gets two, and she's almost guaranteed to lose something. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, yeah, I think I better do that. So, okay, I took those. Ready? Purple or black? Purple we'll go ahead and black. grab the blue first. Purple. Oh, wow. See, I can call purple too. I guess so. <laughs> so one just loses the one point. Okay. Yeah, you know, the reverse is create a weird dynamic when you're playing with three or four players or more, you know, because you just <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. Ooh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do one with more. all that junk? Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> the intensity of this. What's going to happen? Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're still going? Still going. I was going to lose Hey, that's not bad. That's okay. not That's not only not bad. It's not bread. <laughs> that's a Simpsons reference for All the right. uninitiated. Go Give ahead. Black. Black as night. Red. Not the worst. Oh, there's definitely one color that I don't want to roll right now. Blue. And that color is Blue. yellow. Blue. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I feel validated. See, I was going to take my whole turn and just lock in blue. Like, that was, it was just too many points. I might lock in purple. The deck is getting kind of thin. So, that this is one of those games where this is the timer of the game. But I know that Wendy can't end it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and lock in purple. Ugh. All right. It's not the bravest move, but it'll be okay. It'll go down in the annals of history as perhaps the wisest strategic move since Napoleon won Waterloo. I think I got that fact right. I think I I'm going to take this. I'm going to go ahead and grab the reds. Or I'm going to go ahead and grab the blues. So that it, it's more diversity. I might lose points, but at least it's smaller values. So yeah, there's little decisions that you make in this game that are that are interesting. Oh, come on. Die card. Die. Die. I'm not telling the cards bust, to die. Bust. I want... It's, you can't bust right now. Okay. <laughs> now I could bust if I grab a uh, bust. If bust. I grab a yellow bust. five, that's definitely a bust. <laughs> ooh, ooh, 
Who, who, bust, who. Bust, bust, bust. Um, <laughs> I really should stop. Yeah, I should stop. I, I just don't see this working out to my... And I'm going to take this one, and then I'm going to flip it. Okay. Just that is a lovely amount of points right there. That was your turn, huh? I could lock in red, but there's so few cards left. There are. There's a chance, even in these last, like, uh, ten looking cards or so, that there might not even be any more dice. If I was a good card counter, I would remember that. But me being the flipper, I have the advantage that I can put the die, the die cards where I want them to be. If and when they arrive. Flip. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's only a few more. Oh, jeez. There's two more cards. It's not wise to bust, obviously. <laughs> but that just means Wendy gets to the last two cards. But if one of them is a purple, that's a huge issue for me. Sure. So do I just go ahead and grab seven points when he gets six? That's a net of one. And then Wendy's probably going to get whatever these two values are. Or I could push my luck. And I think that uh, Wendy and I have banked similar amounts of cards, so why not? I'll just do that. So you grab one of those. That spreads out your points, so it's less likely to hurt if sure. you roll one of them. Yep. Five and. <laughs> okay. Five. So now comes the embarrassing part where we have to try and do math on camera. That's no fun. <laughs> this is why I put them in chunks of numbers. <laughs> chunks. And you just kind of multiply. Yeah. Multiply all the ones together. Multiplying's a little bit easier. I'm just going to do my tried and true method of trying to make stacks of tens. Oh, that probably works. That probably keeps them a little bit more uh, shuffled as well. It could. I have a weird tendency to grab cards of the same color, so I'm going to not do that. Yeah, because this mixes up the color, but it doesn't mix up the numbers. Every game we've played, I've had five sixes. Every game we've played. <laughs> 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, plus, plus 16, 65 plus 16 would be 75 plus 6, which would be 81. 81 plus 12 is 93. Stop having numbers. <laughs> 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4. So you have what? Uh, what's your total? One hundred four. One hundred four. So that's uh, okay. Well, let's see here. I will not riffle shuffle while you are counting. While I'm counting. <laughs> so that's 10, 20, 30, 40. Uh, yeah, that's fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, uh, eighty plus eleven is 91 plus 4 so yep yeah, or plus 3 so that's 94 to your 104 is that right yep all right well that's push that's everything this that you me mixing up numbers and colors that's everything that you need to know how to play seriously the rule book is just this like this is it um you you have two sides and so like i said if you're playing with more players than this than this uh, you know, will change the dynamic of it because then it's going to go one direction, it's not going to go the other direction. And so some people kind of, you know, get messed up out of cards. But it's such a simple, small, little, basic push your luck game. But I like the decisions of the three piles. I like the decisions of can I try and, you know, get one of those dice cards to hurt my opponent or not? It's It's basic. It's very simple, but... I like it because you're pushing your luck when you're Flipping over cards, you're pushing your luck when you're rolling the dice, you're pushing your luck when you're not banking. Sure, yeah, yeah. I had, you know, I lost um, all those blue cards. I probably had like 18 to 24 points in blue, you know, and it's one of those things I could have banked it my previous turn not knowing that Wendy was going to force a die on me. Sure. But should I have banked it when it was 18 points, and then you let me grab a six, but then I lost it right away. So yeah, there's multiple aspects of pushing your luck, which I think makes it, even though this looks very 1970s it doesn't feel at all you know 1970s it, it kind of feels like a classic game but it's it's very smartly designed so for as simple and light as a push your luck game as it is i think it's great i agree we're maple overboard thanks for watching